Hello and a very warm welcome to Meghan and Harry News YouTube channel. More news regarding Harry's court case against the Mirror Group, and we could be hearing more details about the firm's deals and their involvement with the toxic media. Here we see High Court to hear Prince Harry's secret agreement claim against publisher NGM. So this could be interesting. It's good to see this agreement the royal family have with the media getting more exposure. A bid by Prince Harry to rely on a secret agreement between the royal family and tabloid editors in his claim over alleged unlawful information gathering will be heard at the High Court. This after it was revealed Prince William reviewed a secret settlement from Rupert Murdoch. It has already been stated in court that this agreement involved a 1 million payout to Prince William. Prince Harry's lawyers have argued that NGN's challenge to his claim is an attempt to go behind the alleged secret agreement between the royal family as an institution and the publisher which the Duke was informed of in 2012. Mr Sherbourne said the agreement meant the claimant, Prince Harry, could not bring a claim against NGN for phone hacking at that time. So this just means that Harry, because he was a working member of the royal family, it meant that he was bound by this deal as well at the time. Of course, now he isn't. Now you can see how all of this is yet another reason why you see this ridiculous daily negative articles about both Meghan and Harry. It states to make even more sense because he is e he's bringing things to light and the firm don't like this so it would make sense if they and their international media would launch a smear campaign against them to try and destroy their character and reputation. Someone might argue and say that it wasn't a secret agreement between the royal family and the media and that it was a settlement out of court, which would be a pretty standard practice in most cases. But this is a nonsense because it was a secret, as why do we only know about it now, as you can see? It wasn't William who told us about the agreement. This agreement was deliberately hid, this from Harry and the public. Therefore, it is a secret agreement to hide his scandals, and it is now being implied that William has been working with Murdoch, with whom he had the secret agreement with against his brother. But, of course, it is up to the judge if this information is allowed to go any further in the court case. I'm going to guess that it won't. Will it be interesting, as someone said on Twitter. I am praying the judge allows this bid to be entered. It's the crux of Harry's case. The secret payment was what the royals used to dissuade Harry from proceeding with his lawsuit years ago. Let me know your opinion in the comments. I talked about Ipso and how it had been over for six months since this regulating body for the toxic media, a regulating body made up of media people, so they are regulating themselves. The reputation of Ipso, the independent press standards organisation, is that it is absolutely useless and does very little, if anything, at all. Ipso have finally released a statement regarding Jeremy Clarkson's disgusting column that I believe deliberately incited hatred against Meghan Markle. Another article by an establishment mouthpiece that was released as part of an obvious coordinated international smear campaign against both Meghan and Harry for years. An article released by Jeremy Clarkson, who had been to dinner with Camilla Parker Bowles only a week prior to the release of the article, a dinner where Piers Morgan was also a guest, another establishment mouthpiece that re released negative articles and comments about Meghan and Harry on weekly and sometimes daily basis. It says here, Jeremy Clarkson's column about Meghan in the Sun was sexist, according to Ipso. The UK media regulator has rejected a complaint that the column was racist. The Sun published a front page summary of the findings on Saturday. The column was heavily criticised by Ipso's chief executive, Charlotte Dewar, said the organisation received over 25,100 complaints from the public in a summary of its findings posted to the media regulator's website on Friday. Ipso wrote that it was prompted to launch its investigation into the column after complaints from two women's organisations, the Fawcett Society and the Wild Foundation, Women into Literature, Development and Empowerment. According to the findings published by Ipso's Complaints Committee, 
The column breached Clause 12 discrimination of the Editor's Code of Practice, as it contained pejorative and prejudicial references to the Duchess's sex. Ipso, a UK-based independent press regulator, investigates complaints about stories that may breach its editor's codes of practice, a set of rules that a number of British newspapers and magazines regulated by Ipso have agreed to follow according to its website. The organisation's regulation standards have been called into question in recent years, however. In 2016, the UK's National Union of Journalists, NUJ, called Ipso a pointless so-called regulator, after it stated that press regulation had not improved since the 2012 Leveson Inquiry was published, as The Guardian reported. The Leveson Inquiry was a public report into the culture, practices and ethics of the British press, chaired by Sir Brian Leveson in the wake of the News International phone hacking scandal. Still, Ipso's rulings appear to be a historic one, it marks the first time since Ipso was established in 2014 that a complaint on the basis of sexism has been upheld, according to a statement issued to the Fawcett Society's website on Saturday. The committee referenced Clarkson's comparison of Meghan to Sturgeon and West in its ruling, saying that the only clear common characteristic between the three was their gender and Clarkson's hatred of them. But they didn't believe it was racist. Well, technically, maybe not. But this is the one that is the most ridiculous. The committee also rejected a complaint that the opinion column was inaccurate and that it harassed the Duchess, Ipso reports. So a well-known media personality writes in a new national paper and says he would like to see the Duchess march down a street naked and have the crowd throw things at her because he hates her so much, and this is not considered harassment. This is not considered to be inciting hatred against someone. To me, the disgraceful thing about this article is that it has written, be, has been written carefully, designed to whip up the crowd, the crowd being the audience of this newspaper, both in print and online. Whip up the, that audience into hating Meghan Markle and invoking images of crowds throwing things at her. Yet, Ipsos seem to think this is okay. Like I said before, Ipso is a toothless waste of time. The only way to punish these tabloids is to never click on their articles, never share their articles online and starve them of their ad revenue. Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.